This morning, at about 5 a.m., I was sound asleep. And I'm I'm old. I, I'm getting old. I'm aging. I I am I'm becoming decrepit and will one day be rendered under dust. I know this. And, and how I, one of the ways I know this Same. is, I keep a glass of water on my nightstand. That's how you know you're getting old. Yeah. Because you you know, up I also until live in a very dry climate now. Up until so age like to my hand. Up until age twenty five. You don't do that. If you don't worry about anything. If there's any beverage on your nightstand, it was something alcoholic from the night before. But after 25, you're like, you know what? I wake up, I'm kind of thirsty. Maybe I have to take a pill when I wake up. I'm just going to leave the water over here. So anyway, I have a, and I don't just have a little glass of water on my nightstand. I have this, this big, yeah. big old glass. 5 a.m. this morning. It's unceremoniously dumped all over me. Greedy. Greedy. See, it's my own night fault. The cat has been... When I get up, first thing in the morning, I'm like, okay, you want your temptations? All right. I go out and get him. I get temptations. I put him in his little mouse. He runs around. He smacks it. Little things fall out. He eats them. My dumb night has done this as a routine. I get up and I do it. He has figured out that when the large, loud monkey... <laughs> gets out of the bed. It's, he gets, time. it's yummy time. Hey, if I can get the thing out of the bed, <laughs> that just speeds the process along. Yeah. So normally he just screams at me, but now now he's escalated to dumping the water. And you can't just go back to bed after no. someone's because the bed is soaking. There's water everywhere. You're up. You're if someone dumps water, your fat night is so. Uh, oh my god! Bridget did that to me once when I when I lived with my sister. <laughs> D Dottie did dive bomb my head. Dottie, yeah, Dottie. We have a big, like, um, upholstered headboard on our bed, mm -hmm. and Dottie learned a few months back that that was fun to get up on. Oh no! She's not as good at getting down off of it. <clears throat> So usually like 4 a.m. she decides to go up there and it's only like this wide. So then she's tiptoeing along it and she has to like back up to jump off. And usually she jumps down my side and I'm usually just getting into bed. So I don't care. For some reason, last night she decided to jump down directly on Dan's head. So he literally had a cat land on his face at like 5 a.m. <laughs> Why why do we own them again? Hmm. They own us. And the new little demon has discovered <laughs> she's branched out from the guest room and now she really likes the office and like the little loft we have up here, uh -huh. she's taken it. Yeah. She's also discovered that my makeup vanity is filled with things that can be knocked off and thrown around. I have a makeup sponge. I had a makeup sponge. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. You're never getting that back. It's a bright orange makeup sponge. I have nope. no idea where it is. It's gone. No. gone. Roll of paper towels I keep up there. Gone. gone. Came in tonight. All my hair ties all over the room. So I'm like, all right, we got to baby proof the vanity now. <laughs> Will Valkyrie come on camera soon? Like said, she, likes, <laughs> she likes the loft. Um, She's currently right over here laying on her back. Yeah. Rolling around chirping. Um, she likes us. She, she's not about being touched. So she likes us from a not touching distance. You know, like she follows me around and chirps at me all day from like five feet away. But while I, I do, I do teletherapy on Sundays and halfway through my appointment, she came toddling in and jumped up and went up to her little, so you never know. She might, she might surprise us. Okay. Yeah. All right. all right. Or she might just sit in the hallway and chirp. All right, it, it is time for the nonsense. And oh my God, this past fucking. I know I say every time, but this week was exceptional. This was like a a a, a condensed moment of, of Americans, just purely American stupidity. Not even, we'll get to it. Let's, let's get that, let's get the intro going. Because holy shit. Um... And 
and there is intro. There is intro. Let's 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 uh load that. Load it. Come on. Come on now. With my bangs right now. Gosh. There it is. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide <laughs> interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff right back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? So, this past week in America, a major pipeline was hacked. Work no gasoline! And uh, it, it, on the East Coast, gasoline became um, a precarious situation for all of 48 hours for like yeah for like five minutes um and instantly imbeciles descended on the gas stations to get all the gas they could before it was gone not realizing that the fact they were grabbing all the gas meant it was gone you are causing the problem but they didn't just get the gas in 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 approved gas containers no there were what was it? I saw that, that that picture that went around that was the 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 uh, the trunk full of plastic bags yes. filled with gasoline. And like I said to him, I was like, I know that's bad, but I don't know why. Like I wouldn't do. I know not to do it, but I don't know chemistry. Exactly why. Chemistry and he is was why because like, oh, the gasoline is going to eat through those bags. And I was like, okay. My, my favorite is people putting them in styrofoam containers. Yeah. You're making napalm. You're fucking making styrofoam and gasoline is napalm. You've you've just made don't put that in your gas tank. You will die. Um oh yeah, this this is the picture that uh oh god, this is just this is Mike sent me this one that was going around. This this one hurt. Um it, it, that is a woman pumping gas into a laundry basket. That has holes in the side. It has holes in the. How is that even supposed to work? <sighs> you can't fill that. Oh my god! And Cana and Americans are like, oh my god! I can't believe Canadians get their milk in a bag. It's better than what we're putting in bags these days. But you know, sometimes, sometimes the 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 capricious gods of stupidity will lay down a smackdown, and uh, this I, I I you know what this is kind of the feel good story for this week. Hummer with four containers of gas bursts into flame right after filling up. Homosasa gas station. And he needed all four of those containers to get from the gas station home because he drives a Hummer. <sighs> um, and the pictures are, oh my God, the fucking it that that is that is not a car anymore. A Hummer burst into flames late Wednesday morning, right after firefighters say the driver filled up several gas cans in Citrus County. It's Florida. Of course it's fucking. Uh, fire rescue crews were called to South Alabama Avenue near West Grover Cleveland Boulevard. When they got to the scene, they found a 2004 Hummer H2 on fire. So that is is like Tara's not joking about needing all those cans of gas to get because that that is I don't know I didn't know people were still driving those goddamn things. Those are terrible vehicles. Did you see they're coming out with an electric Hummer? Who's that for? Who's the fucking customer for an electric? Hummer. There's like five people in the world that might buy that. I mean, you say electric Hummer, that sounds like a sex thing, but <laughs> according also, like you're going to have to have a charger every 10 feet. According to a spokesperson for a Citrus County Fire Rescue, <laughs> the driver had just filled up gas cans at the Texaco Food Mart. Firefighters, firefighters found four five gallon containers filled with gasoline in the back of the Hummer. Say that five times fast. Crews worked quickly where we'll put out the fire. Uh, firefighters say one person was this is the this is the part I like. One person was injured but refused to be transported for treatment against medical advice. They did not say what the injury was, nor how severe. That is that is exactly the kind of person who owns a Hummer. 
You're not going to get me to go to that down hospital. They're going to give me that vaccine. I don't want the Bill Gates chip me. That is. So your arm is still on fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what Fox no News said. I don't need no help from the government. You're on fire. You're fake news. When I used to work in Rye, New York, there were a few of the soccer moms that drove Hummers. And the snooty little store I worked at was only street parking. They were pay they were parking lots, but they were pay lots. So to try and not have to pay, everyone would try to street park. Watching these bitches try to street park a Hummer <laughs> on a little two-lane road and then try to get out of said Hummer. One of the few highlights of that job. If of all the vehicles this could have happened to, a Hummer. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's perfect. It is. It's, I want an NFT of this. I, I want to, I, I want to put it on the blockchain. and Whatever you do with, with those. I, I don't know what any of that means. I, I don't know what I, no one knows what any of that means. No one does. They pretend like they do. No one fucking knows. Oh, but that's not the only car catching fire this week. And and you you wouldn't this is for completely different fucking reasons. I don't know how that happened. Car goes up in flames after driver uses hand sanitizer while smoking. And look Ooh. at that fucking picture. Wow. That is, that is, they are not kidding about up in flames. That is no hyperbole there. That is, Jesus Christ. That's a fucking action film there. Jesus. God, I, I uh, never even thought of that. Like, yes, I know alcohol is flammable, but Montgomery it County occurred to me that would be a problem we would have. Montgomery County, Maryland. One person is recovering from non-life-threatening injuries after a car fire started with a cigarette and hand sanitizer. According to fire service, the driver attempted to use hand sanitizer while smoking a cigarette. Car is considered a total loss. Yeah. What? I while should fucking say so. Do we not understand how vapors and fumes and shit work? No. This this is this is like really basic shit though. Like we don't understand how a vaccine works. We true. don't understand that the oceans rising is going to be a bad thing. We don't understand fucking anything. We're very stupid. Yes. 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 Fucking laundry ba basket. Yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Can you imagine being the clerk? Like... There's some 17 year old kid working the register at that gas station. Like, do I tell her? <laughs> no, she's going to yell. If I tell her, she's going to yell at me. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Do I tell her or do I just let her spend a hundred dollars on nothing? <laughs> <sighs> gas prices still haven't come back down either. Fuckers. All right. Let's move on to, to, oh, it's, oh, it's fucking influencing shit again. It's not YouTube, but it's it's almost. What the fuck? She's laying in her litter box? Kitten, it's gross in there! <laughs> Baby! But, but she used the litter roll pot. Did she? She got in there while you were talking and I walked over and looked. And she actually... And now it. you're just sitting right. in your own poop. I don't know if you can see this. She's like, no, nobody's seeing shit. I'm out here. <laughs> Anyway. But she used the litter robot baby pooped in the potty. <laughs> we can get rid of the scoop box now. Very exciting. <laughs> All right. Florida. 28 year old woman posed as student sneaked into high school to promote her Instagram. Ew. They say Audrey Nicole Franciscini. I think I said that right. Franciscini. Sure. <laughs> Entered American Senior High School through the front doors by blending in with the students. 28-year-old woman was arrested after authorities say she poses a high school student, sneaked into a Miami-Dade County school to promote her Instagram page. 
The woman, Audrey Nicole Franceschini, was charged Monday with burglary, educational institution interference, and resisting an officer. After she entered the high school, Franceschini was able to sneak her way uh, into the school's front doors by blending in with students. Uh, police said she disguised herself by carrying a book bag and dressing similar to students, holding a skateboard, and carrying a... How do you How do, do, you do <laughs> fellow kids? <laughs> You're a fucking influencer and you don't know that meme? Once inside, she handed out pamphlets with her Instagram name on them and asked That's students sad. to follow her. That's real sad. You put your Instagram name on paper. Yeah. Pa mm -hmm. pa pa oh, boy. I think I think you've kind of missed the point. I really think influencer culture is just fucking us up. So, like, I'm a, I'm on the TikTok. <laughs> I'm a big, I, I enjoy the TikTok, and I've noticed like I follow people, and they 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 do really funny content. And then like after a certain level of followers, they decide. I've watched three people do this. That like I'm gonna quit my job and be a full time content creator. No. And then every video from them after is buy my merch. Here's my Venmo. Like just, they don't even make content anymore. They're just hitting you up for shit. And it's like, okay, maybe get to the point where this is making you money and then quit your job. It's a little free internet tip from your just, auntie Tara. This, this also, is... Don't break into a high school. Like, could you look like a pedophile faster? Security stopped Fanciskini after seeing her walk through the halls while class was in session, but said she was looking for the registration office. Instead of going to the office, she kept roaming the halls. Court states that after eight years old. Court states that after Fanciskini was stopped a second time by security, she fled, prompting security to report a potential threat on campus. See, we keep having this thing in America. It's called the school shooting. Yeah, it happens a lot. Really fucking nervous when people who don't belong in a school are just wandering around. That sort of sets off red flag. That that is that is. Yeah, the worries me. They get a little. They get a little nervous. Now here's the best part. She spent all day walking around the campus, handing out paper with her Instagram name on. Police were able to identify Francis Franciscini through her Instagram page. She was arrested at her home, North Miami Beach. Well, you got the attention you were looking for. Yeah, you did. I mean, you made the news. <laughs> Can you think of anything said? Like, first of all, teenagers mm. are brutal. Yes. And current teenagers are fucking terrifying. I, okay. No, no, okay. There, teenagers when we were kids were fucking terrifying too. Okay. I guess I feel like now they're smarter because we didn't have access to the kind of information they do. So like, we didn't know whether we cared about Israel and Pal Palestine. Like we didn't know shit, and they fucking do, and they're mean. Tara, when I was when I was in high school, I was I was uh, 13 years old and a dude it walked up behind me in the hall and yanked my leg out from under me and I slammed into the concrete and it chipped the bone. I didn't know it for a couple months when a cyst moved in there and started right. eating. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're what kind I'm of saying is yeah. now they're fucking sophisticated. <laughs> they're still little assholes. But now they're little assholes with technology and Imagine all of I human had... knowledge in their pocket. Imagine if I had that technology. Exactly. Oh, geez. Like they're scarier <laughs> because they have technology. Speaking of technology, you, you so don't. What you're gonna do? Like and like you're you're all, you're pushing thirty. To them, that's basically out to pasture. So you're gonna wander around school and be like, follow me on Instagram, and they're gonna be like, okay, boomer. And you're going to die. Well, speaking of... Don't talk with teenagers. Speaking of technology, let's go back to some ancient technology, more or less. Technology from the 20th century. Um, and I, I've... Th this is one of those wonderful confluences where never has a place been more appropriately named. Um, this is from Wadena County. 
Minnesota. Person brings possibly live mortar into Nimrod Bar in Wadena County. That's not an insult, by the way. It's just a fact. At, at least one it's person. <laughs> at least one person brought a possibly live mortar they found into the Nimrod Bar. The County Sheriff's Office says they got a call at 3.31 p.m. for a person who said they had located a mortar that was possibly live, then brought it to the bar in the city of Nimrod. <laughs> Apparently, the individual had been with others at the Shell City Bridge with a metal detector when they located the mortar. They put it into their car and brought it to the Nimrod bar to show other. Because I know when I find a bomb that clearly is fucking deteriorating, my first thought is, I need to bring this to the nearest watering hole and show it off. <laughs> Nimrod bar. This should have been an episode of Cheers. <laughs> Are we sure it wasn't called the dumbass ball? Like, Norm just wanders in one day holding a thing, and they're like, Norm, what are you doing? Oh, we found her outside. Cool, huh? Poof, that should have been the series finale. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Cheers should have ended. The Nimrod Bar. I, I, you decide, oh my god. I don't understand people who want to have live fucking weapons that look like this. You know, when I... I I Did you not watch Lost? I watched Lost. What, what, I know about nitroglycerin. I know what happened to Arst. What, what, We're not gonna wind up like Arst. When I was like, I stopped like bringing in stuff that I found in the yard when I was seven. I I I'd go outside, I'd find something neat, and I'd bring it inside. I didn't care what the fuck it was. My parents would. I stopped doing that about the seven or eight. I learned that lesson when I found a cool rock and on the underside was a huge slug. It, it, you just, it, there's moss on that thing. Yeah, it is deteriorating. Decomposing. That's, uh, and you bring this shit, why? And it's Minnesota. Oh, it, it, cause I, 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 everybody's probably incredibly nice about it. Oh, that, uh oh, we lost Tara. Hello, there she is. You're back. Hello? You're back. Ah, there we go. Because we have a poor connection, but now it's fine. No, I'm not going to switch to audio only. Fuck you. Stole I spent an hour doing this makeup. Bar. I'm just. I'm. I'm. I'm not going to get over that anytime soon. It's no. Uh, all right. Back to Florida. This is. Um. Oh. Oh. Bless your heart. I. Orlando lawyer and mother left her kids at home to run an SUV into their father's house. Now, you know, you're a lawyer. You know how many types of illegal that is. <laughs> Disbarment has been recommended for an Orlando lawyer who rammed her Land Rover into her ex-husband's house, told his girlfriend, I will kill you, bitch, and spat on police officers. Court documents say 40-year-old Francine uh, Bojamil later texted her ex-husband, Shit about to get ugly. About to? <laughs> All this violated several laws, court orders, as well as the standards and behaviors for a member of the Florida Bar. Surprisingly. Who knew? Like, I was like, you wow, there there is a limit to being a lawyer in Florida? Wow. Um <laughs> as for criminal matters, uh Bogomil pled no contest was found guilty of one count of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, one count of assault on a law enforcement officer, one count of domestic violence battery, two counts of violating a domestic restraining order, and two counts of criminal mischief and a partridge in a pear tree. She is doing 51 weeks in the Orange County Jail. 
should be followed by a year of community patrol and two years of modified probation. That's it? Bogomil didn't get hit with any child neglect charges, though she left her 5-year-old and 11-year-old children at home for her middle-of-the-night automotive assault on her ex-husband's home. Yeah, you got off light. Around 3.30 a.m., Francine Bogomil smashed her Land Rover into the back of a rented white GMC Yukon in her ex-husband's driveway. That sent the GMC SUV into the garage door, Bending it inward about two to three feet. Bogomil's ex-husband came out of the house to see his ex-wife hurling objects at his girlfriend's BMW sedan, shattering the windows. He told Orange County Sheriff's deputies after calling 911, he went outside to get between his girlfriend and former wife. He admitted to responding to Bogomil's two slaps to his face with a slap to her face. You know, I, I normally I'd be like, but this time, I'm going to let that shit slide. Yeah. After a deputy told her to stop shouting at him while he was talking to her ex-husband, Bogomil said, no, fuck you, and spat at him. I don't have extensive experience with the police. But I do think they don't like that. No. No, that's what I've heard. Not, not a Here's the other thing. I don't understand why women do this, ladies. If you if your man leaves you for another woman, it's not the other woman's fault. Even if she seduced him, he went. Yeah. He dumped your ass to put his dick in someone else. If, if she's not your enemy, wreck his shit. I don't understand why we do that. Court documents say not only did she contact her ex-husband, she left social media messages for his girlfriend, including one that said, Next is your mom and pops. I'd back the fuck off if I were you. Just saying, you've been warned to stay away from my kids. I don't think you need to bring her parents into it. I And I, the mugshot is like, and? Yeah, she... No, not a single fuck. Uh, just yeah, and, and I do it again, and I don't. That's that's not a good. That's a terrible plan. That is the worst plan you could have possible. You you could You're not. You're a lawyer. Was what? Ain't gonna be much longer. You're the definition of should know better. Well, no, she's look at that. Look at those roots. She she is she is definitely the kind of lawyer who thinks I'm a lawyer and I can do anything. That, yeah. that, and that's what those roots say to me. I'm, I'm I mean, just... she did get off real light. <laughs> so. Her roots didn't. <laughs> well, the roots are going to get worse a year in jail. <laughs> oh, we've got one. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. We got one last one tonight. This is from uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And, uh, oh, oh, God. Okay. Um, it sucks to have your car stolen. Uh, it sucks to have anything stolen. I've, I've dealt with, I haven't had it happen to me personally, but I've had friends deal with that sort of shit. It sucks. And it sucks having to go through the police because they're not exactly inclined to help you get your shit back. It's just in case you didn't know, yeah. if you go to the police and file a police report and everything, that's not so they're going to get your shit back. That's pretty much just for insurance purposes. That's to go and say, yeah, I reported this shit stolen. If you yeah. don't have insurance, too bad. You're not getting your shit back. However, as unfortunate as the circumstance is, one way to, to not get help get your shit back is you don't just invent a baby. Phoenix Police ID couple arrested in missing baby hoax. Police said there never was a baby girl in that truck that was stolen from a convenience store. Detectives found that the caregiving couple of the alleged baby fabricated the story of the kidnapping. Police say the couple wanted quicker police response to get their vehicle back from the suspects who took their truck without their permission. How did you see this going? Like, if they found the truck and you were like, cool, thanks, but what about your child? Police gotcha. On, police on Thursday identified the suspects as Stormy Wagner, 40, 
Wow. And James Wagner, 37. The 1999 Ford F-250. I mean, a car's a car. And if that's your only form of transportation, I get it. Was stolen from a quick trip. Wagner's initially told officers that an 18-month-old girl was in the truck at the time it was stolen. Police launched an all-out search to find her, even stating that an Amber Alert would be issued. A couple hours later, the truck was found in a neighborhood. Uh, uh, officers detained the man and woman who took the truck after they were found in a nearby home. Both were said to be cooperating with police. Police have re not released any information about them. Police say the incident started about 1.30 p.m. The Wagners uh, and the other couple went inside the store, allegedly leaving the baby girl in the truck parked outside. That's when the other couple, who had just wet, met the Wagners, left the store and drove off in their truck. All right, first of all, what? Who da, who da, what, why? Not a good way to make friends. Wednesday evening, police reported there was never actually a baby in the truck. The couple wanted a quicker police response, get their vehicle back. Yeah, here's the problem with that strategy. Like, if you tell the police, oh my God, somebody took my baby, they're going to do things like ask, what's her name? Do you have pictures of her so that we can find her? Um, and when you don't know your baby's name or have a picture, they're going to get a little suspicious. We just called her baby. Yeah. It kept things simple. Also, like, when they bring your truck back and they're like, we're so sorry, we didn't find your truck. Oh, we're cool. We're cool. Bye. We didn't like her anyway. <laughs> Yeah, what did, what was the end game here? Once right. you have once you have the truck, were you gonna say, ah, oh, psych? Made you look. <laughs> Absolutely. So they totally. they walked into a convenience store. They met a couple. That couple stole their truck. A ninety nine F two fifty. No one who in their right mind would steal a ninety nine Ford F two fifty. I'm going to I'm going to do some speculating. The state of their skin in the mugshots suggests meth. A little meth. Just for reference, I I drive a 2004 F150. It's worth nothing. It's <laughs> worth fucking nothing. It's it's almost 20 years old. It's worth fucking nothing. Okay. Back when I was driving my 2001 Buick, I think I would have thanked somebody if they stole it. Right. I'd be like, I will get more off of the insurance money than it's actually worth. Seriously. Because the blue book value was $250. Exactly. I sold it to a guy for parts. This is... But just mm. so already you're 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 stealing a your target of opportunity is incredibly stupid. But yeah. you are inventing a baby. You you yeah. are you are that's a that's a crime. That's kind of a, yeah. that's that's when, when you when they're about to pull out the Amber Alert and all that shit, and the baby ain't even real. That's a problem. Because, like, yeah, you get a faster police response because they take that shit serious. Over a 1999 Ford F-250. You, you could have... You could have sold, like, a fucking... You could have worked... Probably two, whatever you got in the convenience store was worth more than that car. Like, your slushies and Twinkies, probably worth more than the car. You could have dug a shiny rock out of the ground and gotten a better car for it. Nash's car is almost as old as Olivia Rodrigo. Ouch. Who? <laughs> she's a she's a new pop star. I think she's on a Disney Channel show, and she has like. Did you hear? Have you heard that driver's license song? No. No. Because it's like. So what you're saying in about in about five years, I'll have seen her naked, whether I like it or not, is what you're saying. 
I, maybe she seems to be doing okay so far. Well, we thought Miley was doing okay, and now look what the fuck happened. Yeah. Disney Miley does seems things. to have turned it around, though. She just has terrible fashion choices. Disney does shit to you, man. Yeah. Fucking Disney does shit to people. Look at poor Bella Thorne. Zendaya came out okay. Zendaya's run on the fucking world. Remains to be seen. I think Zendaya's doing pretty good. At the moment. She's got, she's got an Oscar, an Emmy. She's in a major Marvel franchise. She has a fucking Lancome contract. At the moment. They all seem, for like a few, five minutes, they all seem like they're doing great. Then they just hit a moment and something snaps and that fucking time bomb, the fucking mouse put their fucking head goes off. I, I'm going to, I'm going to say it now. I think Zendaya is going to be okay. Well, we learned this week, um, do not make up a baby to get back your car. That's worth barely enough to buy a soda. Yeah. Which is weird as shit. It's a car. It's a functioning piece of machinery, and yet it's worthless somehow. We're weird. Our country, we're fucking weird. We were putting gasoline in garbage bags last week. That's true. We're, we're weird and we're stupid. No, seriously. We're, we're a broken people. The only reason cars become worthless is so uh, to make you buy another car. Yeah. It's... Because they couldn't, if your car actually you know retained what, your value. Your iPhone starts running really slow after a while. Because they're like, you're still rocking a six? No, we need a thousand dollars. We've learned this week that it, there there is actually grounds for disbarring a Florida lawyer. Who the fuck knew? Um, We've learned that if you find a fucking explosive buried in the fucking ground... Do not take it to the fucking bar, you fucking Nimrod. Literally. We've learned that um, don't don't fuck with the teenagers. Nothing good will come of that. No. That's that's like that's like sticking your dick in a piranha tank. Don't do that shit. Just just leave them to their own shit. And, and finally, we've learned that an alarming number of Americans do not understand the basics of gas, vapors, and flammability. Like, how the... F I did really bad in high school chemistry, and because of that, they're, like I follow the directions very carefully on things like that, because I know what I don't fucking know. So I assume that if they tell me not to do shit at the gas tank, there's a reason. And I just follow the directions. You know, now they're going to have to, you know how they have those, like those little stick figure things with a like, little circle with the slash through yeah. it going, no, don't do this. There's going to be one of a lady with a fucking laundry basket and, and gas. That's so I can't get that image out of my head. That's so sad. Like, how does that not occur to you that this is not going to work? I, I, uh, I, did we really need a pandemic? Like, God damn, we, we, we're doing fine on our own. We didn't need a disease to wipe our asses out. 